ready to go ahead and start the engine up. I'm following a set of instructions that I found on the SaturnFans.com forum for the first time engine startup and break in after a rebuild. So I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. Um, it sounds reasonable to me, so this is what I'm going to do. First I filled the crankcase with four and a half quarts of oil. Oh, I also squirted a little bit of oil inside of where the oil filter screws onto the engine and filled the oil filter halfway before screwing it on. Um, next thing is you want to remove the PCM fuse B from the underhood fuse box and this basically stops the fuel pump and injectors from operating while we prime the engine. I've removed each of these four spark plugs and put a small squirt of oil into each cylinder. I still have the spark plugs out. I'm going to go ahead and crank the engine with the starter and I'm just going to put this over the top to try to keep oil from spraying up out too much and making a mess and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to crank it over until that oil light goes out. Got my spark plugs in, wires, put the fuse back in the fuse box for the fuel pump and injectors. Alright, this is it. I'm going to turn the key on and let the fuel pump pressurize the system. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Hope for the best. Well, here we are. The car is finally out of the garage. Um, when I did that initial startup, I ended up having a problem and had to shut it down. There was a leak at one of the transmission uh, cooler lines, and it made a puddle all over the floor. So I dealt with that, and then I went and I, and I ran it through the break-in procedure that I found on SaturnFans.com. Now, this is not an official procedure, but it makes sense to me. So what I did is I went ahead and fired it up. Next thing I did is the electric cooling fan down there. I let the engine idle without touching the gas until that fan came on and shut off twice. This basically allowed the engine to get up to temperature a few times, cycle everything, get everything moving, and broken in. The next break-in phase is to drive it like you stole it. Remember, after the PCM has been disconnected from the battery for an extensive amount of time, it's going to have to relearn the shifting and that may result in undesirable performance in the beginning, but it should smooth out. Also, this transmission that I swapped in, one nice thing about it, it doesn't seem to have the reverse slam problem that my old transmission did. Old one was about 225,000 miles. This one 
I believe it's about 165 to 170,000 miles. Quite a bit younger, same model, easy choice.